There are certain items in your wardrobe that you should never buy cheap, but there are others where spending the extra cash is just a waste of money. You may as well be flushing your hard-earned cash straight down the toilet. In this video, I've got 10 items that you should never spend too much money on. Do I still sometimes spend too much on these items? Sometimes, sometimes I can't help myself but I wouldn't recommend it, and normally I regret it. Of course, these are all my own opinions, and you may not agree with all of them. And if you don't, let me know in the comments and we can have a chat about it. If you like this video at any point, please do drop it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the video. So the first item that you should never spend too much money on is basic plain t-shirts. Now plain t-shirts are an important part of anyone's wardrobe, but you don't need to spend a fortune on them to get something decent. Let's take Uniqlo for example. Uniqlo offer t-shirts of all different shapes and sizes for around the £10 mark and they hold up just as well as most higher end tees. What I've been doing lately and what you can do as well is get your t-shirts from wholesale places. For example, these Stanley Stella t-shirts are heavyweight organic ring spun cotton and they cost under £10. It doesn't get much better than that. For me, t-shirts £30 and below, I'm okay with, but anything over that, it just gets a bit silly and you may as well save your money. No matter how good quality the t-shirt, they end up getting stained and the material does start to look tatty after a while so they do need replacing more than other items in your wardrobe. So save your cash and put it towards something else. The next item that you should never spend too much on is nylon coach jackets. Now nylon coach jackets, they all pretty much look the same no matter what the price. I've owned some that have cost me over £100 and I've owned some that cost me around £20 and they all feel and fit pretty much exactly the same. So unless there's one with a graphic or a design that you have to have, I'd just save your money and go for a more affordable one. For me, the same thing goes with denim jackets as well. Most of the time, they all feel and look the same, no matter what the price. Most of the time, the more affordable jackets are made out of the same materials as the higher-end jackets, and it's quite hard to tell the difference in terms of quality. So unless you see something that makes a denim jacket really unique and really stand out, I'd just go for a more affordable option. And the money that you save from your denim jacket, you can put towards a nice bomber jacket, varsity jacket or leather jacket instead. Now the next item that I think you should save your money on, and I know not everyone's going to agree with this one, but it's shirts. When it comes to shirts, they're an item where I feel the quality doesn't get much better as the price goes higher. I've owned expensive shirts and I've owned more affordable shirts, and although there is a minor difference in terms of quality and fit, it's not enough to justify the extra cost, in my opinion. Of course, there are times when I see a shirt that's absolutely beautiful and it does cost quite a lot of money, and I have to have it but it's very, very rare. I also feel a lot of the time, shirts give off the same kind of look no matter how much you spend on them, so you may as well go for something more affordable. The next item I don't think is worth the money is a pair of shorts. I feel like it's hard to tell the difference between a pair of shorts that cost 40 quid and a pair that cost 150 quid. So for me, they're not worth the extra money. I've also never seen a pair of really expensive shorts where I thought to myself, those are absolutely beautiful, I need to have them. At the end of the day, when I'm wearing shorts, I just want to be in something that keeps me cool. So a lot of the time in the summer, I'm wearing a pair of sports shorts because they're lightweight, they're very comfortable, and they're reasonably priced. I also really like the look they give off, and if I'm going to smarter occasions, then I don't tend to wear shorts anyway. The next item on the list where you should save your cash is on socks. Now, I'm not going to deny that an expensive, lovely pair of socks don't feel nice and they're not comfortable, but I don't want to spend a load of money on them. I get most of my socks from Uniqlo, Arquette, TK Maxx and Nike. They've got a load of different options, a load of different colors, so they have me covered. So the pairs that I go for, I normally get between three and five pairs for under 10 pounds. So I don't feel the need to spend much more than that. To be honest, I have thought about buying a pair from Acne Studios and I think they cost about 40 or 50 pounds for one pair. I haven't yet, but sometimes, as I said at the start of the video, I can't help myself. So we'll see in the summer if I buy some or not but they're not worth it. The next item on the list is a wallet. Now, I love a good wallet, and I wouldn't say no if someone was to gift me a nice wallet, but I don't want to spend a load of my own money on one. Having an expensive wallet doesn't make my life any easier or add anything to my life, unless it's full of gadgets or something. The only reason why I think anyone has an expensive wallet is to flex. I've had the same wallet now for about five years from ASOS. It cost me 20 quid, and it's still going strong. Yes, it's not the most stylish thing in the world, but it does exactly what I need it to do. 
it does the job of a wallet. So my advice to you would be to save your money and keep it inside a more affordable wallet rather than buying yourself an expensive wallet and have nothing left over to put inside of it. Now everything's on card these days anyway, so no one's really carrying around money, but I thought it was a good lie. The next item that you should never spend a lot of money on is a belt. Now I used to be obsessed with belts back in the day, but these days I don't like wearing them and I don't like the look they give off. If my trousers don't fit me around the waist, then I either take them to the tailor, sell them or give them away. But if you are someone who likes to wear a belt, then I don't think you need to spend a fortune on them. You can get a decent quality belt that does the job for around 20 to 30 pounds. So unless belts play a massive role in your outfits, there's no need to spend much more than that. The next item that you shouldn't splash a load of your cash on is caps. Now I love caps and honestly, I probably would spend more than I should on them. The thing is, they're not worth a lot of money and the quality isn't always reflected in the price. One of the best quality caps that I've ever had and the one that I like to wear the most cost me around 20 quid. I used to own caps that cost three times that amount and I didn't enjoy wearing them as much and the quality wasn't as good in my opinion. And there's some designer caps out there that cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds and I just don't think that anyone should be spending that much on a cap. The key to finding a good cap is finding one that suits the shape of your face. Once you find a style that works for you, there's so many caps out there to choose from that you don't have to spend a fortune. I'd recommend looking at skate shops first because the quality is normally really good for the price. And if you like and suit new era caps, for example, they're normally decent quality and they cost about 20 to 25 quid. Now the next one that might cause a little bit of a divide is shower gel, deodorant and hairstyling products. Now I used to use expensive hairstyling products in the past. I was paying about 30 to 40 quid per pot and I was going through one a month. That is ridiculous in my opinion. These days I spend about four pounds a month and the product that I use does the same job. It doesn't smell quite as nice, but I'm okay with that. There's so many different hairstyling products out there that my advice to you would be to shop around and find one that's affordable that works for you. And when it comes to shower gel, I honestly prefer the more affordable stuff. I love my original source shea butter and coconut shower gel or the Dove Clay shower gel. They smell delicious in my opinion and they cost under two quid. So save your money on all of these items and put the money towards some fancy fragrance instead. So that's my list of items that I don't think you should ever spend too much money on. If you haven't seen my video yet where I talk about the items where I think it's a good idea to spend a little bit more on, then click the top right up there, I think it is, or I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. So let me know if you agree with my list or if you wanna add anything to the list. I just wanna add that if you love something enough and you're gonna wear it enough, then it's never a waste of money. So that's all I've got time for today. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave it a like. If you're new here and you love fashion content, then don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See ya.